Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to today's morning report on Thursday the 15th of January with me Rich Perry, Market Analyst at Handtech Markets. The volatility in these financial markets continues to move around. Um, the oil price picking up off the low has been the big driver of today's rally and um, what we've seen overnight has been the um, Wall Street markets picking up and now that has sort of dragged this volatility slightly down but the obviously remains in very uh, elevated on the uh, on the day in fact because uh, the S&P 500 had a very sharp decline and then just rallied into the close to um, only end off only around about 0.6 percent but certainly the uh, the volatility remains elevated and while that happens we still um, are a little bit mindful of um, any equity market bounces and because normally when volatility is high equity markets come under pressure now um, this uh, oil price as I said has been the big driver this is oil over the past uh, few months been in this big downtrend and it's just coming back towards the bottom of this downtrend channel which has been a basis of resistance so um, technically speaking this uh, technical rally uh, could well run out of steam but certainly this rally that we've had yesterday we saw the oil price climbing steeply um, and uh, certainly that helped to drive this improvement in sentiment that we've seen uh, overnight into Asian markets which also were strong as well. Now in terms of current currencies the, the dollar remains in this consolidation phase um, and nothing too significant has happened in terms of dollar performance but the main driver I think is the or the main indicator of um, sentiment in forex markets is dollar yen which uh, I will talk about in a bit but dollar yen sharply higher from yesterday's lows um, what we've had also out overnight is the Australian uh, employment data which has actually come in ahead of expectations and quite sharply as well so the Aussie dollar rallied significantly on the back of that and um, that is my chance of the day and I will just run you through uh, a little bit on that in a little while um, in terms of our economic data today we've got the US um, PPI nothing uh, nothing major actually that apart from the fact that we've got the US PPI which is factory gate inflation uh, or or actually uh, deflation down 0.3 percent month on month uh, and the weekly jobless claims as well coming out at 290,000 uh, is the expectation there at 130. Just as a, a side note as well we've got um, the Bundesbank's Jens Weidmann speaking today um, as well and that could have an impact on um, maybe the DAX and also the Euro so that's this afternoon at uh, just around just after four o'clock uh, UK time so that's bear, um, one to bear in mind but as I said my chart of the day is this Aussie dollar and we've had over the past few weeks actually we've had this potential base pattern or this base pattern has been forming we've got these uh, bullish divergences that have been seen on the uh, with the with the move towards the lows uh, the reaction low at 8031 uh, has actually come in and coincided with um, bullish divergences on the RSI the MACD lines rising and all the, also the stochastics as well so this um, suggests that uh, downside momentum has been um, just waning of late and uh, now it seems as though the uh, Aussie is beginning to move higher now we've had actually this you could argue that this is a head and shoulders reversal uh, above the neckline at 82 figure and uh, it seems at the moment as though the uh, the rally is progressing quite nicely so looking on the intraday chart this is um, in the last few days so we've had this sharp recovery from yesterday's lower 8066 and this um, was the move uh, as the Europeans have started to come in and pushed the Aussie strongly higher above the 82 figure mark which is a positive it now needs to break above that 8254 which was the reaction high before a sharp decline but um, that 8254 needs to be bro um, broken to the upside to in order to continue this rally now what I'd be looking at doing I've been uh, thinking that this sort of resistance band um, between uh, 8120 and 82 figure has been there for a while really sort of being um, a, a band of resistance and we've pushed above it so I think any sort of move back sorry 80 8160 that is sorry the top of that band um, and any move back towards I think what is a breakout support around about that eight, between 8180 and 82 figure I think that that would be a nice chance to buy 
on this Aussie because it looks like it's certainly turning around uh, on this uh, on this daily chart. And to be honest, we've had such a significant element of weakness uh, in recent um, in recent months that it would not um, not be surprising that at some stage we would be getting a rally. Um, and that uh, that base target doesn't give you a huge rally target. Um, just around eighty three sixty five, if you measure the uh, the depth of the pattern, then project it higher from eighty two figure. That gives you eighty two eighty three sixty five. Uh, which is at just underneath this initial resistance now um, at 83.75 as well. So it would just be unwinding some of this um, some of this big sell-off that we've had. But it certainly looks on the m momentum indicators that something is going on here with this Aussie dollar, and uh, there is the potential for a recovery. And certainly, if we can close above 82 tonight, I think that would be taken as a positive, and certainly that would be a closing high um, over the past month. And uh, it would be uh, indicative, I think, of just a potential rally. So that then you'd start to think about potentially just using any sort of um, corrections as a, as a buying opportunity um, as for speculative longs. Because obviously the big macro trend remains uh, negative on the Aussie dollar. But it just looks like we could be into a little bit of a recovery phase going on. Now, be mindful also that we have this situation back in October where it looked like the Aussie was going to form a base pattern. It never completed, so we need to watch out for this completion. I think we'd get completion on a close above 82 figure. Um, so uh, that is something to look at. Anyway, I wish you good luck in your trading on the Aussie dollar today, and I will speak to you later. Thank you.